now we've got a job that'd be no moon. And I was the man to solve it. The only problem was, my map was too zoomed in and I had no idea how to zoom it out. And I was very lost. Ooh, hello. You, you man with the gun, stop. I want to talk to you. Man with the gun, stop. <laughs> what is he doing? Unknown citizen. Oh, did he shoot me? Oh my goodness! Oh! Oh my god! I'm in some serious trouble. Ah! <laughs> no! He <laughs> was a cop and he just shot me for taking his fingerprints. What? Oh lord. Coo, 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 coo. First investigation going well. Detained, numb, injured, and something else. Uh, let's attempt to sneak out. Why not? Things have gone so well so far. Ah! What did I do wrong? Oh my lord! The doctor has a gun! Ah! Ah! Let me out! Oh! <laughs> no! What about do no harm? What happened to the <laughs> Why are they arming their nurses? Oh no. Why am I sabotaging? Ah! <laughs> Ooh boy. Maybe I should have just paid my doctor's fee. Now I'm dying of thirst, dying of hunger, detained, numb. Okay. You know, we'll just pay that medical bill. Just pay that bill. <laughs> Alrighty, back on the case, Detective Otter. He was running around with a gun. It was terrifying. I'd never seen a police officer before. Explore the crime scene at 1101 Fitzgerald Terrace. Where is that? <laughs> Why is everything so hard to find in this game? My first act as a detective was to grab a police officer's gun. What was I thinking? I'm in the wrong building. <gasps> Where are we? I'm looking up the controls. I'm so confused. There's got to be a control for the map. No. 704 Fitzgerald Terrace. We gotta really find Fitzgerald Terrace. There's people dying. This killer has made two murders so far and I haven't detected anything. I haven't even found the street. I'm the worst detective ever. <laughs> How do we find the right street? <laughs> no, that's that's a very unhelpful statement. Maybe the terrace was the roads we walked along the way. It wasn't. What's this? <gasps> Fitzgerald Terrace! But how is this Fitzgerald Terrace? You know what? We're here. Whatever. Alright, we're days late. We have no information. Explore reported crime scene at 1101. Looks like we're going on. Oh, it's 1101. Not 1000. It makes much more sense. Sweet. Is this a horror game? I mean, almost, isn't it? Anyone want to take a wild guess as to which room the, uh, the crime scene is? <laughs> now, if I go in here, I'm definitely not allowed to go in there, am I? Why is he just daring? I want to talk to you and ask you if I'm allowed in there. I'm gonna take a, a wild. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe we can get in from the floor above. Knock, knock. I've got a cup. This will make me look more nonchalant if I sip this. You work hard for your money. Don't make 
Unknown citizen. <laughs> hey. Good evening. I, I don't know if I should ask to come in after this. <laughs> Let's start with his name. Let's be proper. Nothing to do with you. Too right, sir. Too right. Um, could I come in and have a look around? I don't let people off the street into my home. That's also wise. Entering the door in the nude... Oh, almost nude is uh, probably not wise either though. Heard anything unusual? Nothing. This guy's a great lot of help, isn't he? Alright, that's the first door closed in our face. Okay, let's canvas some neighbours. Knock knock! Apparently they're coming to answer the door. It's suspicious that they're taking this long. Aren't you a detective? Don't you have a badge thing? <laughs> I don't know, my infantry does not say bad. I think I'm a private investigator, not a detective. Knock, 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 knock! Would you open the door? <laughs> Can you believe this? It said he was coming to answer. You're kidding me. You are kidding me. <laughs> yes? <laughs> Hello. Seen anything unusual? Nothing. Um, can I come in and have a look around? Wonderful. Guest pass. Hmm. Elaine Powell. We've met Elaine Powell before. She's very friendly. Spare change? Oh, wow. All right. I'm a big fan of Elaine. Wait, you gave me a guest pass. I'm coming in. She seems pretty normal. I want to... That was a very private moment. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I did not mean to, uh... Oh. Try this one again. Boom, boom! Why is there a camera in the room? I don't know. Raider right fridge? Jamex! <laughs> Maybe if we get hungry later. Hello. Good to see you dressed this time. You did see somebody suspicious. Okay. 6.30 on Monday. Average height. Looked mad. Motivation. This cop, man. <laughs> ah. <laughs> You'll never catch me. <laughs> what the heck is that? A massive filing container in my way? That's the room I gotta get into. I got no idea how to get in there. Clunk, 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 clunk. No problem. Is this someone's house? If we enter, we can't get out. Let me out of the house. Ah, let me. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, no. I'm gonna have to beat him up. It's their own fault. Ow. I'm gonna end up hospitalized again. Oh, they were so strong! <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, 
Yes, my investigation did turn into a breaking and entering. I'm gonna get a little bit of water, because I've already sculled my water because of how stressful this is! It's a dark and hard day. Seems like I'm the antagonist. It's been the double homicide! I'm trying to solve it! No one will help me! Hey, medical fees? Sure, we don't have any money. What are they gonna take? The change that we got from that lady? She just paid our medical bills. I put on a suit and tie for this. A vest, no less. What's this? I should leave that screwdriver. <laughs> it's not mine. I have no right to touch it. I'm gonna leave it right there. <laughs> All right, we try again. Anyone remember what street that was that we were on? Yeah, it's got European floor naming conventions. I hate that. Now this will be Fitzgerald Terrace. See, I'm getting better. I'm better at locating where I need to go. Can I do the old Skyrim bucket on the head trick? Ping number 11, please. This game is so cool though. Think about it, all of these buildings have all of these rooms and have individuals who live in those places and have actual schedules. Procedurally generated. Good day, officer. Good day, officer. Ooh, I got her fingerprints. Didn't get shot. That's an upgrade, everybody. Right, we're in. Let's inspect the body. Looks like an adult female. Examining the body, it appears that the victim has been slashed to death by a bladed weapon. I can determine that the time of death is 1745, well, between 1745 and 1900. Fingerprint gun. Type A. Can we pin this as well? Yes. Pinned. Right. So those are connected. Do we take the straight razor as evidence? We might have stolen that by accident. Gotta work out whether it's her fingerprints or someone else's. Type B fingerprints, likely her fingerprints. Type C fingerprints. There's fingerprints all over this place! Oh my lord! That's a lot of blood. Type C fingerprints. Business card. Didn't have what it takes. Killed to get ahead. They must earn my respect. Lots of type C. Type C fingerprints. She's on birth control. She might have a partner. Employment contract. Made a while ago. Three years ago. At Elner Warner. This is their employer. No. That's the employee. This is the employer. Plum Group. She works for Plum Group. Has for three years. For a fair amount of credits. It's not bad. 125,000 per year. High level employee. Non-disclosure. So we have a victim. She's messy or the place has been ransacked. Strange book. She reads a lot. Contribution. Type B fingerprints. Likely type B fingerprints. Can we not get fingerprints off this body? No. But the fingers have been cut off? Take print. Oh, there we go. So what are their prints? Type B. She didn't have any money in the house. Passcode 3345. She's a smoker. Might be the passcode for her workplace. It's not that. Box cutter. Does this have any fingerprints on it? Type C fingerprints. I'm gonna work out who her partner is. Could be the murder weapon. Okay, so that's likely the partner then. We found multiple sets of fingerprints. Head of HR, Olva Della Rosa. We got a name to work with now. 9 till 1700, Monday to Friday. Who's in her address book? Last person, Rosalind, one of her neighbors. Might be worth investigating 1004. Nothing attempted to be flushed. We should probably. A sword! A sword! <laughs> she was killed by a bladed weapon! And there just so happens to be a sword. So we'll pin this. Potential murder weapon. Found further from the body. Type B prints on scissors. Oh, on the sword. But she has type B prints, so it's likely hers. Alright, so that's not the murder weapon. Elysium and partners. Curious. Anyone else drawing any conclusions here? Maybe <laughs> she likes laughing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Very helpful. Very helpful. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, this is a scary game. Yeah, I would class this as horror. You know what, Jumex? I think yes. Don't know you playing Minecraft. Fair enough. We, are up we have their place of work, and if we have their place of work, we can get inside, we can find their employment records, we can find their face, we can find their fingerprints, we can find their name, address, date of birth, we can find every single fact about them. <laughs> You're going down, un unknown citizen.